Hello friends, I'm back again with another tutorial. In this tutorial, give a look how do you fix on supported SD card issue. You can follow the steps in this video for almost all your devices if you have a unsupported SD card error. So you can see it's on supported SD card error. When I click on that SD card, it's gonna ask me for the two different options whether I want to cancel or set up. When I go to setup, it will give me an option to format my SD card. So I'll click on format and you can see it is formatting. Now I'm getting a different kinds of error, like it has failed and several other things. Again, I'm tapping it, setup, and I'm going to format it. When I go to format, again, I'm getting a different kinds of error. So I'm not being able to format the SD card. I'm not being able to open it and I'm getting a different kinds of error. There are a number of steps in this tutorial. One the step, one the either step will definitely help you guys. I hope it helped. So let's begin with this step one. In the very beginning, you need to check whether your SD card is corrupted or not. Or you're gonna check whether you have inserted your SD card properly or not. So remove the SD card and then try to insert it properly. You can see the couple of messages on supported SD card. This device does not support this SD card. Touch to set up the supported format. Now you're going to tap it and format it. I hope it will work. You can see again different kinds of error. So this was the first step you can try. The next step that you need to try, go to setting in your smartphone. Somewhere you're going to see backup and reset in backup and reset you're gonna see here you have an option to reset setting so even you have a factory data reset so what you're gonna do just reset your setting you don't have to do the factory data reset just try resetting your setting so this will just reset your mobile settings all the setting to the default it won't wipe out everything go to storage in a phone and check it out if problem is solved. Try to format it again, go to setup and try to format it again. You can see it's still the error. If this step do not work, proceed to the third step. Now the third step is press the power button in your phone and just try to power off or restart your phone. Power off and power it on again and try. Check if your memory card is working or try to restart it and check if it works fine. Open the setting, go to stories, and you can see again the same. Even restarting did not work. If third step work for you guys, okay. Otherwise, proceed to the fourth step. So the fourth step is get the SD card out of the phone where it was not working and try it in another phone. See if it is working in another phone. Insert it properly, go to setting and storage. So you can see guys, SD card is working. 96 KB used out of 7.50 GB. So it is working on another phone. This is the fourth step you can try. This means SD card is great. It's working fine. When I click on it, I have option to unmount and format. So I don't have any problem with the SD card when I check it in another phone. So there might be some kind of issue in a phone. Now, when I go to format it, you can see, I can format it, it's working fine. 60% and it's done, no error. Now I'll unmount it and then use it in a, another phone. Insert it properly. Go to setting and storage. Now you can see again SD card is unsupported. I've inserted it on another phone and I've formatted it in another phone and unmounted it and still I'm gonna go to setup. I'm getting the error message. If the fourth step worked for you guys, it's great. 
otherwise proceed to the fifth step so the fifth step is get the sd card out of your phone now you need a card reader you can use any one of this card reader so i'm just using this one just put it in a card reader so this is the usb one and this is this one and make sure it is not locked so you can see when you put it down it will be locked and it won't show you so it should not be locked if you're using this card reader now i'm putting it on my laptop when i open this pc or my computer you can see here's a usb flash drive of 7.5 gb out of you can say it's working fine so it is working on my pc now you can go to view on the top you can see on the top in a file explorer my computer or this pc you're going to see view so you're going to tap hidden items all right you're going to check this if it is unchecked you're going to check this hidden item and then you're going to check it out if any, any hidden files and all everything is working fine so when you are done with that what are you going to see what are you going to do the next just go back this one step back and you can see it's a usb flash drive give a right click on it you can see here's the sd card it's working give a right click on it and then go to format you can see it's a format click on format once you click on format you can see it's fat32 default if you have other options selected like ntfs or efat you're going to choose fat32 right now here of fat32 you're going to choose fat32 by default now it's allocated unit size so let it be it's a default size and now quick format it so it's going to warn you with the option click on okay you can see successfully completed click on okay now what are you going to do give a right click on it and then eject it so eject it and get the sd card out of your laptop and check it in your phone if it is working and you're going to tap if it is showing you unsupported you're going to tap in your phone inside stories on sd card and then you're going to try to format it and it should be working in your smartphone now if it is not working come back insert it into your pc again click on format again make sure it is fat32 and choose it to default and you're going to do remove this quick format option and then click on start it's going to warn you of the option click on okay and let it format it's going to take a uh, few minutes so the quick format is very fast you can see uh, if you remove the quick format it's a uh, quite slow it's gonna format slowly so you need to have a patience it's gonna take some time okay guys format complete okay and then close it give a right click on it do not forget to eject so eject your sd card remove it from your laptop insert it properly into your smartphone and check it out if it is working go to stories tap it sd card set up it and try to format it and make sure it is working so this was the fifth step you guys could try so if this step worked for you guys it's great do not work proceed it to the next step get the sd card out of your phone and you can use any one of this card reader so put it in a card reader and make sure if you're using a card reader like this you know, when it is down it is locked make sure it is not locked put it in your laptop your card reader okay guys now we're going to click on this pc or uh, my computer and you're going to see is sd card usb drive key so if you're getting the error message like unsupported and if you're getting a different kinds of command error when you try to format it so what you can do give a right click on it and then click on format you're going to choose format so what you're going to choose sometime you're going to try fat32 
fat 32 and then for quick format it start and then okay format complete and is the SD card give a right click on it and eject it and then use it in your smartphone it should be working if do not work come back to the same place and then choose ex fat you want to choose ex fat and then make sure it's default here all right you need to sorry guys uh, you can choose ex fat and it needs to be default all right everything needs to be default and you're going to choose ex fat and then quick format it click on start click on ok format complete so at first i tried formatting with a fat 32 and it was not working i was getting unsupported file format when i tried to format it in my smartphone i was getting a different kinds of command error now i'm formatting it using a ex fat so quick format start okay now give a right click on it and then eject it so don't forget to eject now device it's just safe to remove just remove it from your laptop get this card out Insert it properly into your phone. Make sure you insert properly and then check it out if it is working. You can see unsupported. Setup, format, and the error message like this command 82 volume partition dx public failed. We am getting the error message like get your stick card out, put it into your card reader. And then into your laptop. All right, and you can see again you have your SD card into your PC. Give a right click on it and click on format. Once you click on format, you're gonna click over here default. Restore to default. You can see default location size. All right, restore to default. Okay, guys. You're gonna choose restore to device default. You're gonna see like this. Now you're gonna choose ex fat. It should be allocated unit size should be 32 kilobyte. So you can see the allocated unit size is 32 kilobyte. And then click on start now. Click on OK to quick format it. So you can see format complete. Now eject it. Get it out. Insert it into your phone and then check it out if it's working fine. Go to setting and stories and check it out. Go to setup and try to format it. And it's still having the error. Proceed to the next step. You're going to give a right click on it. So give a right click and then you can choose command prompt as an admin. It's gonna ask you for the permission, click on yes. And then my friends, here you have command prompt as an administrator. So anyway, you have to open the command prompt as an administrator. What are you gonna do here? Now you're gonna check it out, your SD card. You can see your USB drive is, your USB drive is drive F. So what you're going to do here, you just have to type a simple command, chk dsk space, so f is the drive letter, you can see, you're going to choose your drive letter, mine is f, whether you have a, b, c, d, whatever, you're going to choose yours, so mine is f, I've typed f, you're going to replace with yours, colon, space, slash f, and then enter. Now this is going to check the volume. So Windows has scanned the files and there's no problem. So you can see the masses. It has scanned the files and there's no problem. You'll, it will show you some kinds of error messages. So if you're getting any kinds of error messages, you're going to look for the solution and you have to fix the error message and your SD card will be working. So now, if uh, you get any solution from here, it's okay. Otherwise, proceed to the next step. So next step is we'll format the SD card from here now. Okay guys, before we proceed to the next step, you want to type this command. So you can see, so it is chk dsk, again, your drive letter, 
your USB drive letter mine is F. So F colon slash F without any space. And then you're going to put this space and slash offline scan and fix. So make sure you type it correctly without any spelling mistake. So you can check it out. I'll zoom it. So here it is. So the CHK, DSK, your drive letter of your pen drive or a SD card colon slash F space slash offline scan and fix and then click on enter. So you can see so the file system is FAT32 and several other information. Now you can remove your SD card and use it in your smartphone. Check it out if it is working fine. Go to stories, try to tap it. You can Format it and see if you are not getting any kinds of error and it's working fine. So any kinds of issue, whether it has a blank space or it is unsupported or it is undetachable. So all these problems should be solved with all these different steps. So now if this step do not work or if it is work, it's great. Now proceed to the next step if you have any issue. Again, in your, with your SD card and your problem is now solved. So proceed to the next step. Next step will be, will you formatting the SD card with the help of command prompt. So you're going to type D-I-S-K, Dix, P-A-R-T part. Click on enter. This will take you inside Dix part. Now you can see guys, we are inside Dix part. Here you have our Dix part. Now you're gonna see list volume. Click on enter. Now you can see here's the list of volume. Volume zero, volume one, volume two, volume three, volume four, volume five. Here's the letter D E C F. So my drive volume four is fat 32 and volume five F is also it is removable and is FAT32, 7 GB. You can see 7, 6, 8, 7 MB. That means GB. So this one is my pen drive. So here I have volume 5. Now you're going to type list DISK DIX. Click enter. Now you can see, guys, here I have uh, three different dix dix zero dix one and dix two so the dix two is seven gb that is definitely my pen drive you can see same seven six eight seven seven six eight eight so just uh one kb of a difference or a one mb so you just have to say not that your pen drive is seven gb so you can see everything this one is of uh, 931 GB, 238 GB, 7 GB. This is only one that is of uh, 76880 MB. That means 7 GB. So you have to guess that this is your pen drive. So do not select a different one. So you'll format a different one and you'll wipe out everything. So mine is DIX2. So now what are you going to do? Select DIX2 is my pen drive and then click on enter. Now DIX2 is now the selected DIX. Now you're going to type clean now it will start cleaning dicks part succeeded in cleaning the dicks now you have successfully cleaned your dicks what are you going to do in the next step now you're going to type create partition primary so do not do any kinds of spelling mistake so dicks part succeeded in creating a specified partition now Format FS equals FAT32 if you want to use it in a, a smartphone. So it should be FAT32. Once you type, click on enter. Now it's going to take some time to format. You can see just 1% completed. Now it is the USB drive F FAT32. It's being formatted. Once it is done, we'll assign later other than F. Okay guys, you can see this part successfully formatted the volume. Now, here you have, you can see USB drive F 7.49 GB free of 7.49 GB. Now go to properties. When you go to properties, you're going to see FAT32. 
the drive is fine. Give a right click on it and then go to properties. You want to select properties at the bottom. At the bottom, when you give a right click on it, here you have a properties. So guys, now you can assign a different letter. So you can assign a letter to it. So you can see currently I'm going to assign a letter K. It was having the letter F. Here you have, you can see letter F. Now I'm going to assign letter equals K. And then click on enter. Now we have successfully, you can see USB drive K. Now you can see here I have a USB drive K. All right. Now, give a, before we go with that, on this, exit it, EXIT, and enter it. Again, EXIT, exit it, and enter it. It's gone. And now here you have, give a right click on it, and then you have to eject it. So eject it, and then you can get the SD card out of your laptop and put it into your smartphone and check it out if it is working fine. Go to storage, tap the SD card and even try it formatting. Make sure, I hope it, uh, hope it is formatting and it will work for you guys. Still the issue exists, proceed to the next step. Okay guys, you can see it's still unsupported. Tap on it, you can ask you to set up and then it's going to ask you to format. And when you go to format, you're getting the error message again. So the next step, go to setting and then you're going to choose backup and reset. Inside backup and reset, somewhere you're going to see factory data reset. So tap it. This is going to wipe out everything from your phone, guys. Everything. Whatever you have inside your phone, this is going to wipe out everything. At the bottom, here you have a reset device. Click on reset device. Now you can click on delete all. So make sure you take a backup. If you have a, some important file before you proceed to this step. Take a backup or move your content to the different SD card or a different device. Before you proceed to this step. You can see it's erasing everything your phone will be like a new purchased one you have to set up everything okay guys it's gonna take a couple of minutes now you can see phone is like a new purchased one you just have to set up everything you can select the language wi-fi and you have to set up everything okay guys once you're done with that you just have to come back to the stories go to sd card and then it should be working fine now. You can see it's still getting error. So if you are still getting error, if it is, if this step really work for you guys, you can enjoy, have fun. It's still getting error. You just have to hard reset your device. Just hard reset your device, or try different, different other SD card in your phone, or maybe your SD card slot itself has a, some issue. So if your SD card slot has an issue, you have to go to the nearby store, nearby repair shop, uh, nearby hardware repair shop, and you just have to get repair your SD card slot you know, or replace. They'll replace your SD card slot and in a shop. Now next thing is, still you are getting this error. You try hard resetting your device and try to repair your SD card slot. Check if any issue with the SD card slot. And the third thing that you can do finally at the end is you can try different number of SD card. This one is a 8 GB SD card. You can try 4 GB, 2 GB SD card, or you can try several other SD card. You can get the different SD card from the nearby shop and you can just try those SD card in your phone. So one the either check if one the either SD card is really working for you guys. So all these were the different steps to fix the issue. If you guys really want to hard reset your phone and try, so what you're gonna do, you just have to press, you just have to press the power button and turn off your phone first. Just press the power button and power off the phone. 
Okay guys, in order to hard reset your phone, you just have to tap and hold the volume up button. Just tap and hold. So this is for the Samsung phone. Different brand has a different option, different ways. So whichever phone, whichever brand you are using, you can just uh, go to the internet and you can search for how to hard reset your phone. You will find a number of solution. So you put your phone brand name and model number and you'll find a lots of solution how to hard reset so this one is currently for the samsung phone so press the volume up button and press the power button just press and hold the volume up button do not release press this home button and then power button so all this is step by step three button you have to press together and hold it until and unless you get this option now release all the buttons and wait for a while so it's gonna take some time now here you have now you can use volume up and volume down button to choose the option so here you have report okay here you have wipe data factory reset so you have to choose that option wipe data factory reset and then once you have done with the selection volume up and down button for selection press the power button for ok so here is the power button i'm just going to press it for ok it's going to ask you for yes or no choose yes and click on again press the power button for ok now you can see it's wiping out everything so even doing this will not help you guys. Your you have a problem with your phone and SD card. Uh, you are not being able to use it, and it is unsupported. You are not being able to format it. What you can do? The final step, as I've told you, even hard reset do not work. Go to the nearby shop, and you can just uh, try check it out if your slot is. SD card slot is working or not or you can just uh, get the number of SD card 1 GB SD card 2 GB SD card 3 GB SD card different size and different number of SD card of a different brand and you can just check it out in your phone see which one is working for you so all these steps to fix all this issue whether your SD card is on not working or you are getting a, some kind of command error or your SD card is not supported or SD card is corrupted or your SD card is just uh, giving you some kinds of error or your SD card is blank or your SD card is undetachable. So you can follow all these steps in this tutorial to fix all these kinds of different SD card issue. So you can see that a wipe complete. Wipe is complete. On the top you're going to choose reboot system now and with the volume up and down button and then press the power button for OK and it will reboot now. Now everything you have to set up from the start. So guys if you like this tutorial, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe and comment. I have, I hope, one the either solution will definitely help you guys to fix the issue. And have a good day. Be sure to like, subscribe and comment. Catch you in the next tutorial.